Uh, what went wrong tonight? Well, uh, we lost the game, and uh, I give them credit uh, for doing a good job of you know, slowing us down with the run. We played a lot of cover two to stop the uh, explosive passing game. You know, we tried to connect on a few, almost got an interception, another interception. And uh, you know, they were able to get pressure without blitzing most of the time, and they slowed down the run without having the pressure. And that's, it's a long night when a, when a team can do that. What's your biggest concern with the run game? Uh, I got to look at the tape and talk about tonight. But, uh, you know, we had some times where we did get hats on hats and, and have some successful runs and getting downhill. We knew it was a bunch where you couldn't dance around. They were too fast, too physical to to dance. You had to get downhill. And it was going to be a tough grind it out type of running, running game. We knew that. Uh, but, you know, they were able to, to slow us down and play cover too, which is – we haven't uh, had a night like that since Alabama in 16, so uh, it was a tough night. Number two was a surprise for you. Say again? Number two was a surprise for you. Well, they had it on third downs, you know, but it was a situation where they just, I guess, felt like that was the way they had to do it to slow down the passing game. And, uh, and it was kudos to them. You know, we, we hit it up a couple times, but not consistently enough to take them out of cover two. And we weren't running it consistently enough to make them feel like they needed to change. So. What was going on third down? Uh, we weren't converting them. Well, just different, different things. Uh, I mean, I gotta watch the tape. JT seems to look at Amon and those situations on third down a lot. Is did, did you well, sense you know, that they it's, knew it's not a, it's not plays aren't designed for him to get it like a progression type of deal. And so tonight, uh, they, you know, on third down they played a little bit of man mixed in with with some two and. He has a choice to be the choice of him or other guys that that are winning versus man to man. And you know, he, he made a decision and early in the year had been working for us. And tonight guy did a good job of covering him and we were still trying to, you know, get it in there, but it just didn't work out. Do you feel like there's things you could do to make things easier in the passing game as, as opposed to being so reliant on the deep ball? Um, well, it all depends on the game you're playing, the team you're playing. You can't just say that. Like it's not like you know, it's not that easy. You can't just go into a game and say, I'm going to do this, and you don't know what they're going to play. You don't know always. So you go in planning for all the different coverages, all of the pressures, and things of that nature, and you get to it when you see what they're going to do. And tonight was a night where another team, again, comes in and totally changes their character uh, to, to defeat what they felt uh, was the strength of our offense. And coming into the game, uh, we were relying on the pass game a whole lot because it was open and teams were playing man and we were winning. And so uh, this was, was a team that played a lot of man. I guess they felt that, you know, they could play zone and, and stop the run and make it hard in the pass game. And, and that's what they were able to do. You talked about this being a process for this mm -hmm. offense. Yeah. How frustrating are you this point? Well, not frustrated. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed that we lost the game. But I'm, un I'm understanding too, we're relatively young and a lot of young players are, are playing and getting better as we go. And so I'm not uh, discouraged, I'm not down. Uh, obviously I want to look at where we can be better and where we broke down, whether it was one game, pass game, third down, whatever it was. Uh, but, but I'm hopeful, I'm, I'm, I'm positive spirit with these guys. Uh, I want to win every game, but tonight's a tough loss. That's because, you know, I felt like we could we could do better with a team playing cover two. Feel like we can do better than that. Don't you have to be able to run the ball? Well, what do you think the key was to tonight's game? For us or them or what? Yeah, for, you, for us. What did we need to do? We needed to run it and throw it consistently enough to put points on the board. Yeah. We weren't able to do that. Well, you have to be able to run the ball if they're going to play you. Got to. Yeah. You got to be able to to do that. You can't. If a team's gonna make it hard, I mean, it was one play, a couple plays. They dropped nine guys. I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna consistently throw the ball with nine people in coverage. And so it's, it's just tough. You gotta, you gotta be able to run it. You gotta be able to make plays other ways. We tried the screen game several times, uh, no gains. Uh, one screen popped out, made it just short for the first down. So you try to mix in screen, try to mix in reverse, went for no gain. Try to do different things to put the quarterback on the perimeter and get the ball out, but at the same time, um, you know, they executed on defense, made it tough for us, and, uh, you know, we lost. Were they more athletic, faster than when you see them in person? And you know, you uh, they're not awfully quick. Nah, I mean, they are, they are who they are. You know, it was, it was an outfit last year that, 
you know, you had to go down to the wire to win the game last year. They're a good team. They're big, they're physical, and they're seniors and juniors that have redshirted and has played a lot of time. These guys have, you know, their secondary is super experienced. They've been around forever. They did a good job with their disguises, and, you know, if I'm playing against a true freshman quarterback, I'm going to do the same thing. And so uh, I thought they did a good job of, of that. And uh, JT was going to the right spots with his progressions and things, but we just got to hook up more consistently to – to uh, bring people either out of that or get them into something else. And you look like you might have been just a little bit a hair slow getting the ball to the right place. Yeah, I got to watch the tape and, and, and see if that was the case or what was the case. But uh, close, but but, uh, but but not making the plays in a few times. What you think of the this week? Want well, to get back and see how he's doing. Uh, but we got to watch the film and just talk progression. We're still at, I mean, he's a freshman, true freshman. We're still in the progression phase and the what you're looking at phase. We're not, I mean, he's, he's, he's a young man. So he's growing. I'm proud of him for sticking in there. Uh, tough look, tough front. The guys are doing a good job up front. I'm proud of him for uh, for managing the game the way he did. You know, he had some, some tough snaps that he had to dig out and jump for him. And the touchdown pass was a high snap. He gained himself and made a guy miss and threw the ball up. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better, uh, you know, better effort uh, from a young man than what JT is giving us. And so, but you know, at some point, you can't just put it on the on the young man to, to win a game for you. You know, when teams are dropping in coverage and, and able to get pressure on them, you know, the way they were able to do. You can't, you can't, you know, you can call it, you know, as much as you want to. At some point, you know, it catches up to you. You got to be able to have balance. You got to be able to run the ball with six people in the box and take pressure off of them. We didn't do that consistently enough tonight to, to win the game. Mm. We continue to work on it. We continue to work on it. You know, Coach Helton uh, and, and Neil, they uh, they discuss it every week about how to get better at it. Uh, thoughts this week coming to the game, he had made dramatic improvements. You know, they, they changed the way that he was ripping the ball, and it was a lot more consistent at practice. And uh, for whatever reason, it is what it is. You know, you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't really know, like, what's the cause of it. But you got to get it fixed and make it a tough sometime in the quarterback. Yeah, thanks, Jim.